What's going on YouTube? Snipes here with TKO Gaming, bringing you guys a different video from what you guys have seen, but happy holidays. I hope it's all going amazing for you guys. Now keep in mind, if you like this video, you want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe as well. Now let's get into it. Right, we're going to talk about how do YouTubers make money? Why does it seem like these little kids have so much money and how are they doing it on the internet and how much money are they actually making? Not only that, I'll top it off by giving you guys some tips and tricks that I wish I could have gave myself growing up as a little youtuber and i still am a pretty tiny youtuber so that subscribe button helps wink wink anyway so let's get into it all right starting off you guys the way youtubers primarily make money off of views well yeah it is just that it is views but it's adsense it's the advertisement that you see before during or after you guys watch our videos now it could be before in those long ads it could be those skippable ads it could be during the video in mid video it'll go to an ad It'll be layover ads, sponsored ads. It'll be ads on the right, left, bottom of the video. Now keep in mind, if you have ad block or if you are on a mobile device, you won't see as many or any ads sometimes. And it doesn't really help the YouTuber out at that point. But hey, it's okay if you really like a YouTuber, just take a couple seconds, watch those ads. Sometimes I get caught up in watching ads that are actually cool, like a brand new movie coming out or something. That's why during the summertime, ad revenue is so high or much higher than like during the winter time or other times of the year because some great blockbuster movies are coming out their target audience are those younger internet kids to try to get them to go watch the videos that's why they'll pay high budget high revenues for the ads on youtube and other websites so keep that in mind as well my friends now let's talk about how much those revenues actually amount to. Now I'll give you an example of a huge YouTuber and I'll give you an example of a smaller YouTuber like myself. So let's start off with a smaller one, okay? So let's say for every 1,000 views I get, I will get roughly around $1 to $1.5. That's it, okay? So it really means that you gotta get up in those million view ranges. So, I mean, if you do the math, right? One million views, will roughly equal 1000 to $1,500. And then you can do the math from there. Now also keep in mind that it also depends on who you're partnered with. When you start off on YouTube, you're just simply partnered through YouTube AdSense. And I think at that time they take about 30% of your revenue and they give you 70%. When you get into a partnership program, you can change that around. I remember when I was first hopped on board early, early on, I was offered something along the lines of 80, 20, then something along the lines of 90, 10. Now I won't fully disclose exactly what I got offered. I'm sure for those big, huge, huge channels, there will be partnership companies that will come along and they'll be like, you know what? We'll take a small percentage, like two, three percent, maybe even less, depending on how many million views you get. And then that's it. I mean, that's pretty much how that works. But for me as a very small YouTuber, especially early on, it's not a bad idea to go ahead and hop on a partnership program. Now, make sure that partnership program has a good reputation. The reason why I say that is because I've heard of stories and I've actually seen some as well where people have been completely screwed and ripped off when it comes to that kind of stuff. Like they were not paid what they were supposed to get paid. That partnership company was just taking tons and tons of revenue from them. A majority of the time, us content creators are so busy with our craft, so busy with editing videos, doing commentaries, putting content out for you guys, that we don't really go back and take a look at the paycheck, especially for people that this isn't like the purpose of their livelihood. Now, I understand if it is, then you should definitely double check your paycheck. And if you see a discrepancy or you feel like you're getting screwed over, just go ahead and find a different partnership program even though I want to say that early on monetary needs are not going to be your main priority you just want to grow that's what every youtuber wants to do is they want to grow and I'll get into tips about that in a little bit but keep in mind on the topic of these partnership programs they actually help you with copyright infringements strikes and all those sorts of things which actually will mean a lot later on when your channel gets bigger because you do not want to get three strikes on your channel once you get three strikes your channel does get shut down so so 
obviously that means a lot to bigger youtubers because that is their bread and butter and if they lost that what would they do that's also another reason along with an additional source of income that many youtubers open another youtube channel which is not a bad thing because essentially it's just another revenue stream and also if something happens to your main channel or your second channel at least you'll have primarily your follower base that's still alive right anyway so let's move on to something i want to say uh, a quote i heard from one of the youtubers i watched prodigy big shout out to him uh he said in one of his recent videos do something with your life that allows you to make money in your sleep now he heard it from someone else but i heard it from him so i'm just going to give him credit for it i definitely believe in that quote and i think you guys should too youtube is a way of doing that but there's also many other ways to do that as well for me currently youtube is that outlet um just around 40,000 subscribers right now it's super super slow but in a way, if I go to sleep and I wake up and the people have viewed my video and I'm sure a very small portion of you guys have actually watched the ads, then I'll make a little couple bucks here and there, right, on that. But that's not the point. The point is to grow that following, grow to a substantial number, then possibly move it to another type of channel, another type of video. I've always been a gamer, but I've always also tried to be that person that brings positivity and happiness and smiles to other people's faces. And I think that gaming, YouTubing, combined isn't always the best way to do this so hopefully one day when i get big enough i'll also continue gaming youtubing and then i'll also try to do some i don't know vlogs or daily videos of of talking about life events and man life just changes all the time and and it's such a beautiful thing and it's such an evil thing at the same time so cool things to talk about and connect with people right anyways that's future plans i just want to give you guys much love for me for the holidays man i really hope 2016 was better for you guys and it was for me because i know for me and a lot of other people it wasn't the best year but i'm glad to see it go and i'm very very happy to welcome 2017 i hope all of you guys are, have nothing but blessings come your way uh please do comment below if you guys have any questions concerns at all i'll try my best to reply to them and i just want to Thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for all the support. Please do hit that like button and subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the Twitch stream. Link is below. Twitter, link is below. And uh, let's keep growing, right? Let's keep progressing no matter how fast or slow. Peace out.